What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So in the last video where we ended up, we were basically told to come over here to vault -Tec University. As you can see, I'm standing right in front of the statue, of course. And we were essentially like taking a final course, kind of detective noir style, find out what happened to this robot type situation. And now we have... Uh, knowledge of what's inside, uh, inside of Vault 79. So currently our objective, as you can see on the top right corner, is to go talk to Meg and Paige about Vault 79. So first things first, I kind of want to go talk to Paige, and then after that, immediately following, I'm going to go talk to Meg over at Crater. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to that. All right, so we should probably fast travel over there first, huh? Uh, foundation, 30 caps, holy shit. And that's 30 caps going in this direction. Going from foundation to crater is going to cost an arm and a leg. Plus $19.99 plus tax and shipping and handling. Uh, Alright, it's all good though. I'm not really worried about it. I got the caps. I am slowly going up in caps. It doesn't help that I'm playing, that I play the game in, um, on my own private server. Uh, and this, this character basically lives on its own on the private server because uh it's just easier to play that way less server lag and everything when there's like less characters on the map of course so it just runs a little bit smoother in my opinion uh but my main character if you ever see me playing in a regular world uh it generally speaking that's 99 percent of the time gonna be my main character uh he's like a level 120 something i had to restart up because my old character my old main character was really bugged and there was a lot of things I couldn't do with them, but so I ended up deleting that character, unfortunately. But we're good now. All right, so we're here finally at Foundation. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way down to the bottom. Uh, apparently, somebody's looking for some tools, but I'm not really worried about that right now, because right now I want to go over there and talk to the yeah, one, lost my the only saves. Page. There we go. Should be pretty interesting to say the least. He's going to be like in shock. But he has to believe us now because we gave him the whole inoculation situation, right? Um, I think he likes to hang out over here. Yep, there he is. Paige. Everyone, the vault dweller from 76. What is it? I got some information about uh, Vault 79 for you. You want to take a look at these blueprints? What? You want us to build a vault? That's a little outside of our usual work order. Huh? Oh, I see. Interesting. Client was obviously paranoid about security. Lasers, turbots, super thick walls. This is about that treasure, isn't it? So it's not bull after all. It's in this vault, and you want us to help you get it. Uh, it's not just about the treasure, to be honest. Uh, we kind of want to get the whole bullion and stuff, and the gold, just so that we can build a new currency with the whole, you know, in this wasteland. Hopefully rebuild civilization. You got some grand scheme to reignite the basis of capital, and all that other money talk the lobbyists on the hill would always yammer about. That's all well and good, but my concern is how that gold can help us right here, right now. How it can help the people of Foundation. <sighs> Look, let's say I believe you. A structure like this, you need some serious equipment to do any demo work. Uh, and if I got you that equipment, are you on board? Yeah, well, I mean, we could start thinking about the rest of this nonsense. Laser trip wires? How the hell are we gonna handle that? Oh well, one thing at a time. You get us a big enough drill, we can find the right spot to hit. Every structure's got its weak point. I know one. The mother load. That's uh the mining conglomerate, right? Exactly. Yeah, that might just work. I'll start talking to folks about how we can crack the rest. You keep up your end, we might just be in business. Cool. So, 
is that it? Ward says our walls and turrets will keep the raiders out. I hope he's right. Hold on. Trade secrets started. I want to see Overseer Unseen update. Hold on, is it not going to update? Okay, there we go. Oh, so now Meg, talk to Meg at Vault 70, uh, about Vault 79 is a miscellaneous quest. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and go down this storyline. We're going to keep the miscellaneous about uh, Vault 79 up there just so that we don't forget. But right now we're going to continue on with the settlers. And then we're going to, once we exhaust the entire storyline with the settlers, we're going to go and start the quest line with the raiders. And then at that point, uh, once we both, uh, once we get to the very end of both Next quest week lines, my turn on guard duty. where we have to essentially choose a side, that's when we will make a decision. So let's go ahead and go to Hornwright Industrial. Um, luckily, we've been there before. No, get there. We go. I'm gonna be broke by the time this is all done. I should probably get this character some caps, though, huh? <laughs> Make him at least halfway ball in, maybe like five thousand caps or something. Although he does have a pretty decent amount of caps. He has like uh, like 1,500, I think is what it said. I'm not sure. But who knows? It might, it might be enough. It's kind of funny though because that picture that you guys see right in front of you uh, was the Fastnod event when it first, first, first uh, came out. The very first Fastnod event. And uh, obviously uh, the second Fastnod event just passed by. And I decided to make a video. Yeah, I don't care about this. I decided to make a video where, just like uh, for fun. Let's turn all of that off. That's not the one I wanted. Oh, toggle active. There you go. All right. So, fuck, man. So. Yeah, it's kind of funny though because uh, I decided when the Fastnight event was going on, I decided to make a video where all you hear is the Fastnight event music for 10 minutes straight. And uh, that video did extremely well. We should probably eat, huh? Um, let me see. Can, uh, canned dog food. Don't mind if I do. We're going to be running low on water too, so we might as well drink... If I could find my freaking purified water. I have enough purified water to last me like a couple of decades, man. Holy shit. 50 something purified water. Alright, so uh, I want to say that I have to go down here. Let me in, damn it. Did I just push the button? There you go. All right. What do we got here? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, fuck. Would you fucking chill? I'm assuming it's this way. The little marker, I think, is over here, too. Luckily, we've already, uh completed this whole thing so we don't have to do it again oh wait there was only two levels here before wasn't there I guess there's another button here oh no wait yeah we've been here before oh, look there's mole miners in here now now this can't be it no wait there's something over there hey what's up friend I'll check out that terminal in a second. I just need these guys to go to sleep really fast. Take a nap. I hear somebody else. Oh, there you are. Teronimo! I just ramboed that shit. Holy fuck, there's a lot of more miners. 
You! <laughs> Fuck, I ran out of stamina. There we go. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Alright. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and check out this terminal. Uh, begin debug sequence. User detected. Connecting. Connection established. Debug process initiated. Attempting to make contact with primary transponder signal. Primary transponder signal not found. Senior executive Daniel Hornwright not found. Failsafe procedure initiated. Searching registered location logs for recent signal detection. Recent signal detected at Hornwright Estate Safe Room. Proceed to the location to complete failsafe procedure. Hornwright Estate and Safe Room access cards are required for entrance. Motherload follows. Okay. So, are we done here? Let me see. Set. Default. Audio device? Uh, another device. Debug. Trace. Okay. I think we're done. So, go to the Hornwright Estate. Damn it. Now we gotta go somewhere else. Alright, well, let's turn this off. Toggle. Active. Let me make sure. Alright, yeah. We still got the other two. Good. Good, good, good. Have we discovered this? No, we haven't. I thought we did. Alright, it's all good that we've discovered this other place that's literally right next to it. So, we're gonna essentially just load in there, or spawn in, and then run off to the other side. It's not gonna be very difficult at all. And that's amazing. I think this is the one where uh, we meet that descendant, if you will, of the Hornwrights. Pretty interesting, actually. All right. Listen up. All Blood Eagles out there are invited to a show. We captured Beckett. If you want to see Blood roast a pig, then come on down to Poseidon. Bring your friends! If they ain't Blood Eagles, they'll get shredded too! <laughs> well, uh, maybe I'll come back to that later. But not right now. So for now, let's toggle active. We still have the whole uh, ally thing to take care of for the other lady, too. There it is. The building in all of its glory. Oh, fuck, I'm stuck. Hiya! 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 Thank God for Marsupi, alright? Right? All right. May I enter, por favor? All right, let's go down to the safe room and see what wonderful thing awaits us down here. Knock, knock. Invalid credentials. Access denied. Um. So how do I get in? Gain access to the safe room. Do I have to leave? I guess I do. No, Monica! I've, I don't know why, but I've always liked the whole gold roof on the domes and stuff like that. I don't know, it looks really cool, in my opinion. Imagine if it was made of 100% gold, though, instead of, like, steel and... All kinds of stuff. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Or imagine just a building completely made of, of gold. That would be freaking sick, dude. Alright, so I gotta go up. Uh, so let's go to the top floor, I guess. Um... I'm not sure. It's not really updating properly. 
Is this door supposed to be purple? Or is that a texture problem? I'm gonna guess it's a texture you problem. Don't ever talk to me like that again, Mr. Handy. Yeah, I think there's some weird texture problem going on up here. What the fuck? Area secure. Uh, Identify. Oh god. Alright, let's go take. No! There you go. Goodbye. Thankfully, this guy is pretty strong when it comes to uh Continue his hitting. Where's everybody else? Unlawful. They gotta be downstairs. We should probably heal. Uh, no, damn it. What is it? Stim pack. All right, let's go. Honestly, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. All right, let's go follow the map marker again. You, away with you. All right, let's take the elevator. Maybe there's another way. Look, it says get access to the safe room. Um. I'm not sure. I think there's supposed to be a way to get it from being up here. But honestly, I don't really remember. Let's take that and the lead. Is this an actual... No, it's... I don't remember. No! There's gotta be... Something in here. Is there somebody in here? Approach and identify Are yourself. You? <clears throat> Just need to chill out for a second, alright? You're a little hostile for no apparent reason, guy. Doesn't really help that there's a weird texture issue here. Is it this thing? All right, let me see here. Let the guessing game begin. Nope, all right. Let's try again. Damn it. Um, Faith, no. No. Hey, I figured it out. Um, Penny, if you're getting this message, I want you to go to my private lab under the estate and lock yourself inside. As you probably guessed, it also it's also a safe room. Don't open the door for anybody. I looked, I hooked up an access key card printer to the terminal and set up a secondary passcode, passcode entry subroutine that would only that only you would know a date, the most important day of my life. I love you, and I'm sorry that. I didn't always show you that, Dad. Aw. Um. This is from Penny. Uh, hi, Dad. I got the flowers uh, you sent to the house. Uh, they're lovely. I know you're worried about me and, uh, and how I feel about Mom's death. But I can promise you that I've made peace with the whole thing. She's been, or she was suffering, Dad. If she had remained alive, she would have gotten weaker and weaker until she, uh, she'd be lying in a hospital hooked up to a bunch of machines. What kind of life is that? She's in a better place now, and I'm okay with that. I promise this won't affect anything at work. Just give me one or two days and I'll get back. I love you, Dad. Aw. I'm getting serious reservations about this mother load project. You presented me with some figures and theoretical formulas and everything looks great on paper, but I can't really help you if you won't tell me more. I honestly don't appreciate being treated like one of your number crunchers. I refuse to simply be left out of the loop 
on this project, especially since it's draining our financial resources. I know this is your pet project, Dad, but you have to let me in on this one. Uh, Father, what's this? I heard about some reporter named Bill Breyer getting shot by our security. The last thing we need right now are police investigators uh, crawling all over our facility. As it is, we... Uh, we've had to suspend operations until the smoke clears from this public relations nightmare. If you've ever intended to pull a rabbit out of your hat, now might be the time to do it. Otherwise, we're looking at a possible fiscal loss for this quarter. Maybe you should tell the boys over in security that this isn't the damn Wild West. Dun dun dun. I've got your message, and you're worrying me, Bryce. Uh, we've known each other since we were children, and I've known, I've never seen you come apart like this. I know that uh, a lot is going on around us, but we need to stick together. If we're going to get through this madness, I think we should speak to my father about this, Bryce. Tell him that we want to get married. Oh, damn. Uh, I feel like bad things are on the horizon and we need to do this before it's too late. I'll try to uh, I'll try and sneak out of here tonight and I'll meet you in the usual place. I love you, Bryce. I always will. Last one. Uh, Yvette, can you try and track down my father? I was in my den at home and I heard a huge explosion. I think I'm I'm even seeing a column of smoking uh, rising from somewhere nearby. I tried to contact him, but he isn't answering my phone at headquarters. I want to make sure he's not stuck in the middle of all this. If you get through to him, have him contact me immediately. And be careful, Yvette. If that explosion is what I think it was, then the miners... Uh, may have finally taken their protest too far. Dun dun dun. Secondary passcode entry. Uh, guess the password? Return. <laughs> Alright. So, looks like there's gotta be... Clues for passwords somewhere around here. Uh, oh, it's actually marked on the map on the mini marker down on the bottom So let's go Wait, hold on. Is it it? Yeah, look for clues. All right, let's go in that direction then Luckily, we've already killed all of the or did we I don't know. I don't think we've been in here Intruder Identify mm, yourself you <laughs> Um, No, oh, there's something right here RSVP card. Uh, the pleasure uh, of your presence is required for the 29th birthday of Dr. Penelope Hornwright on March 4th, 2077. Daniel Hornwright will attend. Unable to attend. That's fucked up. Alright. I'm assuming that's just one clue. Alright. Let's look for more clues. Hello. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Alright, how do I get over there, though? Alright, that's not the way. It's gotta be up here somewhere. Oh, it is that briefcase that we looked at earlier. Oh, it's not the briefcase. Hornwright Industrial Notice. Uh, it is with no small amount of pride that I announced that my daughter, Dr. Penelope Hornwright, will be joining the company as a senior executive. Her first day will be this Monday, May 1st, 2073. Penny brings a fresh new perspective. Uh, we are all excited about her new role at the company. Please join us in welcoming and congratulating her on this moment, uh, to momentous occasion. Daniel Hornwright. All right. So I'm guessing those are the only two clues. If that's the case... Wait, where the hell is that one room? Was it in here? Alright, well, I can't jump over that thing. I'll take this Nuka-Cola, though. 
Hmm. Where's that room that had that computer? It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? No, I think I'm pretty sure it was on this floor. Because we came this way and we jumped off of there. Uh, that's not it. This way, maybe? Are these guys responding? Ah! Or did I jump that way? I don't remember. Wait, is it over here? No, this is the gym. It's gotta be on this floor, man. I'm pretty confident it was on this floor. Alright, that's the room we just left right now. It can't be this way. It's gotta be on the other side. Alright, we just left there. Maybe it's right here? No, okay, that's the gym again. Fuck. Why is this place so confusing? Alright, let's just try to look higher. Maybe it's on this floor. Hold on, we... Alright. Where are we? Yeah, see, it can't be over here. So let's go down a floor. There's nothing on this floor either. What the fuck? Alright, that's not it. And it's not that way. Yeah, because this is where we found the clue. And we have to drop down a floor to get to this clue. So it's got to be upstairs. I'm, fuck it, I'm not going to search that because I know it's not in there. Is it? Is it really not in here? No, that's that weird door with that texture issue. Nothing on that side. Nothing on this side. Then that's the gym. Yeah, because if it's not here, it's a floor up higher. Alright, fuck it. Let's check upstairs one more time. It's got to be around here somewhere. I think everyone's responding. You know what? Let's just get in here. Luckily, we didn't have to move anything. Oh, this is the workbench. Nice. Alright. Can't be this way then. We already searched in there. What the fuck, dude? I wish it would tell me. Beastly nuisance. Glad that's done with. Hmm. I don't know. I legitimately don't know. For some reason, it's not updating. For me. It's, it's actually kind of annoying. Alright, let's go all the way to the top. Because it still it does still say search for more clues. So maybe there's like... As I get closer, maybe it'll update. And show me a new clue somewhere.
I don't know, but there's a boss chest. I'll take them both, thank you. There's definitely nothing up here. Alright, let's just search lower. I want to look in here. Anything in here? Anything at all? Of course not. I guess we can... Oh, there, there it is. Alright, let's try one of these codes. Okay, incorrect. Password. Let's try this one. No. So both of those were wrong. Oh wait, no, I got the second one. Did we get it? So we can go downstairs now? Hell yeah, boy! That took long enough. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and go down to the safe room and find out what secrets lie inside. There's somebody standing there. Could that be? Could that be who I think it is? Area clearance detected. Initiating breach procedure. All workers, please evacuate to safe distance immediately. What now? This safe room is a lot less safe than I expected. Breach procedure? Breach complete. Now, wait, wait, wait just a minute. You can't just barge in here, robot. Mother load. Mother load? Oh, of course. Oh, I see. This must be some sort of failsafe directive now that I'm back in this area. How fascinating. Wait, how is it that you can speak now? You didn't say anything when I came across you earlier out in the wild. You know, you're quite terrifying. Default audio device safe room loudspeaker is active and hardwired connection has been established. Of course. You mustn't have a built-in device. I guess Daniel decided you didn't need a voice unless you were speaking to him. Typical. Senior Executive Daniel Hornwright is not detected. Please provide a location for discovery and retrieval. No. Father, uh, Daniel, has been gone for a long time. Confirmed. Failsafe handoff must initiate. Dr. Penelope Hornwright, do you acknowledge and accept? Well, you're one hell of a stray dog, but... Yes, I'll accept. Failsafe procedures complete. Debug mode is now enabled. Doctor, please evaluate all secondary user changes before submitting. Alright, let's talk to her, I guess? Let's see what she has well, to say. That was exciting, to say the least. So... Secondary user, eh? Who the hell are you? And what kind of changes is she talking about? Oh, uh, you'll find out here shortly. <laughs> no, I'm the mother, the mother load's friend. But I need your help convincing her to do something uh, specific for me. If you can definitely do that for me, I'll be greatly appreciative. Oh, really? Yep. What exactly do you need the mother load's help with? And as an aside, robots don't have friends and this don't need does. to be convinced to do things. If you want them to do something, you need to reprogram them. Uh, well, to answer your question, uh, I want to, <laughs> I want to use the mother load to break into a vault? Is that all? I assume from that pit boy on your wrist that you're from one yourself. Feeling homesick? Yeah, you can say some. Uh, that's nothing like that, to be honest. It's more about, uh, the settlers that came to Appalachia. I don't understand. What do they want with a vault? I saw Foundation on my way back into Appalachia. They look pretty comfortable there. Um, you've been to Foundation? 
No, I just saw it from a distance. I never want to assume that I'll be welcome. Good way to get shot at. Trust me. I mean, you make a point there. Well, they don't want to live in it. It's a secret government stockpile from before the war. And you'd be surprised what's in it. There are plenty of government facilities in Appalachia. More if you head north. What's so special about this one? Oh, this one's very special. It's full of gold. And when I mean full, I mean stockpiles. Uh, and we want to use it, to be honest, to rebuild society using it as its currency. You know, kind of like we did back before the war. Hmm. Well, if your new society will allow ghouls like me to join, then I'll help. Of Otherwise, course. you can beat it. I've seen plenty of folks try to save the world since things went to hell, and all of them had their problems. Just beat it! No, of course, you're absolutely welcome. Lovely. Beats only having blasted robots to talk to. No offense, Mother Load. So what's the plan? How are you... I don't know, never mind. Uh, the Mother Load can only go specific places or beacons. How do you work around that exactly? Hmm. Well, I'll need a pit boy for a mobile terminal. Not yours, don't worry. I'll need a full construction kit so I can add some extra circuitry. Also, I'll need something I consulted on years ago. A circuitry schematic that could have changed everything if we hadn't blown ourselves up. Well, that's nice. I can definitely help you with that kind of stuff if you need it. I'll install an untethered communication setup while you're gone. That way, we can talk to her whenever and wherever we want. Like any other bot. Okay, okay. Um, so where's this schematic? The Pit Boy construction kit? That's here? Well, let's, let's go upstairs. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted here. Open that freaking door. I forgot the elevator is literally right here. Let's go to the ground floor and see if we can find... Well, no, no, not the ground floor. We're supposed to go up top, right? Damn it. Now we got to sit through this loading screen. Yay, me. That thing is seriously freaking creepy, dude. The interloper. Alright, let's go... Upstairs now? Hold on, let me see. Oh, it's gone. Obtain the schematic. Let's go to Summersville then. Summersville it is. This place used to be crawling with super mutants. Super mutants are no longer there. Now... A bunch of freaking blood eagles. I think. <laughs> I'm over here talking all authoritatively and I'm not even 100% sure. It's all good in the neighborhood though. That sexy man. Ooh la la. Get him laying down on the bed like that. OMG Fallout 76 hurry up There we go see it just needed me to tell it what to do Luckily, we don't have to go all the way in it's literally this first house Hiya Oh, we got some Pharrell ghouls Hey, don't mind me just go back to sleep You too I'll take that duct tape though Good night. Where is everyone else? I think they're coming from down here. Um. Hello. Anybody home? Hey. 
Anybody at all? They're definitely down here. Hey, you! Good night. Found the schematic. Let me guess. Take it back to Penelope Rose. Or Penelope Cruz, excuse me. Uh, col collect. Oh god, that's over there. Freaking back to Vault Tech University, I go. There's Pharrell Ghoul, so they're like prohibiting me from fast traveling. You! <laughs> Good night. <laughs> nice. That's literally me and my daughter when she started playing Fallout 76. Proud, proud moment. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too difficult getting this construction kit, but realistically I don't think it's very difficult at all. I think it's just one of those go there, pick up, and then take back to Mr. or Miss Penelope. Kind of like what we did with the schematic. Awesome. Alright, let's see here. Feels like it was just a little bit ago that we were in here. And we were. That's a pretty cool picture, I think. So, I'm not gonna lie. The Pioneer Scouts are a pretty awesome little faction. And although, like, the, the whole badges system is pretty much keep you busy work... Frankly speaking, I actually really enjoyed doing them all on my main character. It was really, really fun. Took a while, but it was fun nonetheless. Uh, I have to go downstairs. Can I? Is there a way to go downstairs? Approach and identify yourself. Oh, good. Long I found you. Shut up. Right, I gotta find a way downstairs. Pretty sure. There we go. I'm not really worried about the combat because. Okay, fuck this guy. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Look. Okay, I gotta pull back before I end up. And yeah, we were literally here. Not that long ago. Alright. It's in that direction. Actually, it's on the bottom floor. Okay, hold on. You! Die. I was hoping Vats was going to let me lock onto him, but it didn't work, so... Alright, where's the stupid pit boy? Ready to die for your country, you dummy son of a bitch! You're a cop. You shouldn't be talking like that. Alright, I need uh, <laughs> a stim pack, though. Alright, looks like it's up here. We're literally right around the corner. There we go. Let's take all this junk. Are we good? Let me see. Go back to Penelope Cruz. Yep. Nice. Um, right here. I'm pretty sure I hear somebody walking. What the hell is that walking? Oh fuck! Oh no! No! Don't do this to me! Run! Alright, let's get a power attack on this girl. Running elimination subroutines. Nah, I wanna kill you. Oh fuck. Get away from me! That was a mistake, I should have just ran away. Alright. It's on like Donkey Kong. 
Don't hit me. Die. Damn it. This fucking thing is a pain in the ass. There we go. Woo. That was pretty fun. But now we got to get back to Penelope. Before she starts singing in anger. Because she is Penelope Cruz. It's raining, man. Wait, no, wrong song. <laughs> Those Brahmin look freaking pretty good, actually. I took that picture for the Pioneer Scouts, and honestly, it actually looks pretty nice. Those are pretty creepy creatures when you really stop down, uh, stop and think about it. It's literally a two-headed cow. All right, let's see here. Uh, we won't need this no more because all we gotta do is go downstairs. All right, and now we gotta go down to the basement. Now that we got the little pit boy situation and the schematics for her, should be able to get in no problem. Penelope, I got something for you. I think you're gonna love it. Okay, let's try your integrated voice module again. Can you say something, Mother Lode? What would you like me to say, Doctor? Great. Yanny. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Ah, good gracious. She's full of dad jokes. All right. I'll <laughs> add full conversational protocols to the list. Nice. All right, hello. Ah, you're back. I've been busy working on the Motherlode's voice interface. I can see that. Have those parts for me yet? I, as a matter of fact, I do. Here you go. Lovely. I had a chance to crack her open while you were gone. It's not good news, I'm afraid. Gasp. What's the problem? Well, it shouldn't take long at all to get the new guidance interface set up. However, while I was in there setting up her vocal system, I saw a lot of damage. I think she's going to need some new parts just to be safe. Uh, what kind of parts are we talking about? Well, her data processing is extremely slow. Maybe it's not actually broken, but it certainly doesn't work. She'll need a better interpolator. She also needs a new sensor module, an altimeter for sure. Something's corroded the contacts pretty badly on both of those. Well, uh, where do you suppose I find one of these? Salvaging. iBots are basically just flying sensor modules. And the altimeter could be salvaged from that ridiculous plane father hung upstairs. I'm not sure about finding an interpolator. But I saw a robot that had a human brain attached to it near Robco. I would bet that unethical monstrosity has some serious interpolation needs. Okay, I'll definitely hop on that. I'll be here working on her conversational skills, if you need anything else. Okay, cool. Um, unfortunately, we are pretty much going to have to call it a video right here, right now. Uh, there's only 10 more minutes or so until the whole one hour mark is, so... I don't want to go over that, so we're going to definitely have to call it a video right here, right now. If you enjoyed this video, though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.